Hello, my name is Alec, and I'm here to tell you about one of the coolest water systems in the world, wetlands. Wetlands are one of the most important and unique water systems throughout the world, and they provide great services for water and homes for many special plants and animals. Who knows what a wetland is? Like a swamp? Maybe like a marsh? Yes, those are both good examples. A wetland is an area where water covers the soil, or is present or near the surface of the soil all year, or sometimes throughout the year, and are characterized with having special plants that are adapted to very wet soils. There are many types of wetlands, including swamps, marshes, bogs, bottomlands, fens, vernal pools, and many more. Each have their own unique characteristics, but all contain basic components which make them wetlands, like wet soil and water-loving plants. So let's take a trip out to some wetlands and find out more. Here we are at the Olentangy River Wetlands Research Park. We're going to take a closer look at the wetland basins and the forest along the river. This is the Olentangy River, bordered by a bottomland hardwood forest. Who thinks this forest is a wetland? Yes, it is. Even though there isn't water here all the time, this is still a wetland. One thing that's unique about wetlands is their soil. The wetland soil is wet, dark, and mushy, while your backyard soil is light, dry, and clumpy. These are the wetland basins. These basins are flooded all year. Another unique thing about wetlands is the plants that live here. These plants are adapted to live in wet environments, which means they like the water. And as you can see here, these are the mostly the plants that live in this wetland. What do wetlands do? Let's head back to the classroom and find out. Wetlands act as a filter to clean out all the things that should not be in the water. Water moves slowly through wetlands. This allows the soil and plants to filter out or trap pollutants before the water leaves the wetland and enters another system, like a river or a lake. Here are two jars of water. Each jar represents a river. One has wetlands, and one doesn't. Let's see what happens when dirty water goes through each system. See how dirty the river gets when there is no wetland? And how the wetlands clean the water in this system? The wetland, like the sponge, filters the dirty water, cleaning it before it reaches the river, keeping the animals in the river healthy and happy. What lives at the wetlands? All sorts of fish, insects, amphibians, reptiles, and birds call the river and wetlands home, including dragonflies, Crayfish, bluegill, bass, bullfrogs, snapping turtles, mallards, and blue herons. The park gives these animals quality protected habitat vital for their survival. If you want to learn even more and maybe even see some of these cool animals, come on out to the Olentangy River Wetlands Research Park and have some fun.